I've had enough time to be able to calm down to the point that maybe this won't be personal. Weeks ago, I put out there that I would critique any matches, no questions asked, send me your match, let me make you better. For those people that might see this and don't know me, I wrestle as a pain train Preston Quinn. My lineage is Koloff training. 26 years I wrestled in this business to this day. I just got to teach alongside seminar three-day super camp. Thank you, AML, by the way. Thank you for, for an avenue where people can actually learn how to be better wrestlers. But for me to be able to three days, I got to st- sit and teach beside Tom Pritchard. This isn't my first rodeo. This isn't my first seminar. This isn't, this isn't something that I just all of a sudden started doing. So I extend myself. I extended myself. And I said, I will critique y'all's matches, knowing full well that the stuff that was going to come in my inbox was going to be pure garbage. And instead, it was even more insulting. Almost nobody sent anything. And the ones that did were guys that were already pretty good. Does that make any goddamn sense to you? You people are so worried about your egos getting popped. You're so worried about that somebody's not going to pat you on the back and tell them you had a great match. That you couldn't even send it to somebody who was going to give you an honest honest critique that was going to make you a better performer and a better worker in this business. So I should have took that as a sign, but I didn't. I stuck my neck out even further. 40 people were at that seminar. So I said, you know what? There is, there's people out there that want to get better. They want wrestling to be wrestling again. There's some people out there that actually want to know how to work and why we do the things that we do. Boy, was I sadly mistaken. I stuck my neck out even further. I called in a favor so that I could go and teach you guys in between classes that they were already doing at Body by D Gym. Because Deshaun is a great guy. And Deshaun said, we'll put it right here. Right in the middle. Tuesday, Thursdays, our classes. We'll do the advanced class you can do on Wednesdays. From 6 to 8. First week goes off last week. Two people show up. Two. One tag team. Well, that tag team got a whole lesson in tag team wrestling and how to be a more effective team for two hours. They got their money's worth. So then, this week, comes and goes, fucking zero. Nobody shows up, that's a personal slap in the face to me. For all the help I've ever given you people, and all I've ever done, is try to improve this business. The Mid-Atlantic should always be the benchmark of professional wrestling. And it has become the the fucking horseshit of professional wrestling is what it's become. And you guys better learn how to unfuck yourselves when you're around me. I'm telling you right now, I'm sick and tired of watching shit fucking indie wrestling around here and you guys run around throwing it up up on these different independent sites talking about this is one of the best matches we ever had. I can't watch five fucking minutes of that horse shit. You guys are pathetic. And you want to get in the ring with guys like me that are going to help you get over? Fuck you. To you guys that actually reach out to guys like myself and Bob Evans and Franco Varga and you try to get in places like AML and you do the things that you're supposed to do, you're gold in my book and you always will be. To those ones that reach out that always want to get better, 26 years, I'm always looking for somebody to make me better. Please let me learn. I love it. But no, no, all you guys, you already know the deal. You already know what's going on. No, you don't. I've seen your matches. No, you don't. Your fragile ass egos. All you're worried about is that pat on the back. All you're worried about is playing wrestler. 
Y'all best straighten up. You're losing a golden opportunity to become better. What do you think I'm going to do? Get in there and whip your ass? I'm telling you right now, for most of you, that'd be easy. I ain't worried about that. If I want to go clear a fucking bar, that's exactly what I'll do. At least come to somebody like a man. Half your boys don't even know what the inside of a gym looks like. Shit. I ain't never had to wanted to do something like this. But you know what? I've gotten to the point now where I'm convinced that you guys just get off the couch, grab your, if you have wrestling gear, and run off to a show. Because you don't ever want to get better. You guys got very little chance left to convince me that you actually want to be professional wrestlers and you want to get better. Now work on unfucking yourselves and I'll see you next Wednesday.